Welcome to the 7 o'clock news with Ricky Rodrigo. Can't explain all the feelings that you're making me feel. Colleen Jamerson. My heart's in overdrive and you're behind the steering wheel. Today. I'm so glad I'm here, not not at that party I wanted to go to. Hi. I don't go to parties. Oh. Okay. Hi, I'm Ricky Ross Ricos. And I'm Colleen Chambly. Welcome to the seven o'clock news. Tonight's top story: uh, a man kills five kids claiming they threw a burrito at his car. And three nuns dare three monks in a showdown in Israel. I personally think the monks will win because they, you know. Read minds and all. Yeah, those my reading monks are out the ball. Um, on today's show, we have breaking coverageness of informational information brought to you in a stunning presentation. Yes, Ricky. Tonight we'll be learning about biochemical waste. No, Colleen. I think what you're trying to say is biodiversity. Yes, Ricky. Oh no. Of course, that would be the variation of species in an ecosystem. In an, eco in, in, in an ecosystem, all organisms rely on each other to survive, which is called interdependence. Just like I rely on you to make my coffee every morning and you rely on me to tell you to do it. I think that's called parasitism, Ricky. Be quiet, Colleen. No one likes you. <laughs> oh my fruitcake! Look what I just found on the floor! <laughs> what is it, Colleen? Is that, a, is that a food chain? Well, not like the one in an ecosystem. In an ecosystem, producers get their energy from the sun. Thanks to the wonderful process of photosynthesis, composers can then eat the plant and receive the energy. Then comes along a second consumer who eats the first consumer. Whenever the second and first consumers die, decomposers eat their bodies and return the nutrients to the soil where the plants can get it through their roots. Well, geez, Colleen, that sounds like a cycle that would just keep going on, doesn't it? It's because it is, Fartface. But Colleen, what happens if, like, one of this quote-unquote uh, links is destroyed in the chain? Sadly, if one link is removed, it throws off the entire cycle. This is known as the domino effect. Well, I hear, like, 150 acres of rainforest are destroyed every minute. You know, like half the species of the planet live in the rainforest. That seems like take that seems like taking a big link out of the chain of life. This deforestation takes away the home from the animals that live there. And at this rate, scientists say one fourth of all species will be gone by 2050. Colleen, that's that's really horrible. I can't stop the destruction of rainforest, but what else can I do to help? Well, the only problem isn't deforestation. Humans produce way more carbon dioxide than plants can take in and produce oxygen. So, all this pollution is destroying our atmosphere. This, Ricky, you can certainly help to do something with. Okay, I think I have some ideas, like recycling. But Ricky, darling, how exactly do we recycle? Anyways, you can also use public transportation or, you know, ride your bicycle to your desired destination. Plus, uh, those people at, those, at that concert you wanted to go to will think your mountain bike is hot. You know all that old crap you have at your house that you want to throw away? Don't! Because you could donate it or make it into jewelry. Also, you could shop at thrift stores and you don't have to keep taking more resources from the planet because you can just reuse it. Oh, I have an idea. How about cannibalism? You know, because then we won't be eating the animals and we won't have to worry about overpopulation.
to the Batmobile. Let's go. Stop! Hairspray ruins the ozone. I'm so glad I learned that. <laughs> So, what percent of species do you think live in the rainforest? Hey, Barry. Just make up a number. You're 35 percent off. It's 50 percent of all species of plants and animals live in the rainforest. I have no idea. I have no idea. It's 50 percent. At the rate we are destroying the rainforest, when will there be none left? Next year. Uh, 2081. One fourth of the species on planet will be gone by what year? That, that's it. Over half. Uh, 25%. Alright, and how many acres of rainforest are destroyed every minute? Well, I hope uh, this presentation has informed you and inspired you to get involved in preserving your natural surroundings. If you care to know more about the subject, you can go see the movie Inconvenient Truth, which is now in theaters. Uh, tonight at 9, I'll find out if you're eligible for a free case of duck liver uh, ice cream, and uh, also find out how people are starting to avoid the man in the planet. Well, thank you for watching the 7 o'clock news. I'm Ricky Ross Rico. Uh, good night. Yo, this one goes out to all my homies in the woods. The rainforests are pretty hot, so tear them down, we must not. Tons of animals live in the trees, so don't rip them down, my homie G. Preserving the planet is hella tight, so against those big contractors we must fight. Can I wear it? Can I hear it from my species pound? Oh, that's right, I can't hear them, they're going extinct. Deforestation really stinks.